Scene Illustration Tutorial. In this video, we will be discussing how to install Faro Scene. Faro Scene can be downloaded from two sources. If you have recently purchased a Faro Freestyle or a Faro Focus 3D, then the installation will be provided in the box. The software can also be downloaded directly to your computer from the Faro site at faro.com. Once the software has been downloaded, all files can be viewed within the download page. Double click Scene Setup to begin the setup process. Select your language, read through the license agreement, and if you accept, select that option, and click Next. On the following screen, locate the folder you wish to use for the program and click Next. It is advisable to label the folder with the appropriate release information to separate the new installation from the previous versions. If the number at the end is not added, the update will override the previous version on your computer, which will force all of your saved projects to be updated to the newer version. Click Next. On the next screen, you are prompted to also download the user manual. Click Next. The next screen is used to select the folder in which the program will be stored. Label the folder with the appropriate release information to avoid confusion with saved projects. Click Next. The following screen allows you to install Adobe Flash Player, create a desktop icon, or register file extensions. Select these by clicking the corresponding box. Click Next and finish the installation by clicking Install. Users will also want to download the appropriate software development kit, referred to within the installation as SDK to be used with Scene. To update the license, enter the Faro folder you have created, locate farors.exe, and open the program. Select Select Collect Information. Create a new folder for information on your desktop. Select Apply License Update, click Browse for updated file, locate the corresponding V2C file, and click Apply the License. Once the above steps have been completed, Scene may be opened. A few recommendations once Scene has been loaded. Click Tools, Options, and click Folder. This opens the menu to select where the program will search for information on the computer for projects. You may add folders here as needed. The Navigation tab allows the user to change the speed of the program as well as the ability to invert the mouse wheel. This will allow the user to roll the wheel up in order to zoom, or vice versa. Here, you can change navigation mode for viewing your projects. The Units tab allows the user to choose the unit of measure in which the project will be displayed, imported, and exported. Under the Matching tab, the Place Scan settings can be edited, allowing the user to move from Target-based to Top View-based and Cloud-to-Cloud -cloud options. Under the same tab, Match Sphere settings can be edited, allowing the user to edit the radii of the spheres used within the program.